what do most men wake up with in the morning? <laughs> An erection. An erection, right? Yep. Morning wood, right? Yep. Yep. If that is not Mother Nature telling you when to use that thing, I don't know what <laughs> is, right? Right. We have to talk about sex, sleep yep. and sex. You bet. I, I do know from researching you that there's different times for different chronotypes to have sex, right? There is. There and is. I've also heard this about the sexes as well. Sometimes it's better for men to have sex at, in the morning and sometimes it's better for women in the evening sort so of thing. Yeah, let's, go ta ahead. let's take it let's on and let's it. talk about it, yes. okay? So you need five hormones to successfully have sex. Mm -hmm. You need estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. You need cortisol and adrenaline all to be high. Okay. Right? And you need melatonin, the sleep hormone, to be low. Okay. Right? So when we surveyed people, 74% of people have sex between 1030 and 1130 at night. Surprise, surprise. Right? right. What do you think their hormone profile looks like? Oh, it's probably low then, right? Yeah. Everything that needs to be high is low and everything that's high, uh, that's low needs to be high. Okay. Right. So that's one hint. Okay. Uh, number two, what do most men wake up with in the morning? <laughs> An erection. An erection, right? Yep. Morning wood, right? Yep. Yep. If that is not Mother Nature telling you when to use that thing, I don't know what <laughs> is, right? Right. So we know that male testosterone levels are much higher in the morning time. Okay. Um, and to be fair, uh, when we talk when survey women, a lot of women, they're just too damn tired at the end of the day yeah. um, for sex. They'd much rather try to have sex in the morning. Brush your teeth, right? Like, I get that part, <laughs> but, you know, yeah. like... Make it a fun time. Make it something like, hey, the sleep doctor gave us a prescription. Maybe we should try it. Uh -huh. Give it a give it a try. You might be very, very surprised um, to see what happens. Now, I have focused a little bit more on the male side of things um, from a testosterone perspective. But what about uh, homosexual couples and lesbian couples? Like, uh -huh. how do those kind of things work? Believe it or not, there's some interesting things there. For the guys, we know that that testosterone curve makes a lot of sense. But for the female, female couples, they actually have their own form of curve that is represented. And we talk about it in the book. We actually, so here's the thing that most people ask me. They're like, Michael, I'm a lion and I married a wolf. Yeah. What do we do? Right. Yeah. Like, how does that shit work? Because I'm not divorcing them because <laughs> they like to, you know, stay up late or I like to get up early. Like, how yeah. does that work? So we actually found a morning time and an early evening time that works with each one of the chronotypes. And we created a matrix. So wow. you can put across the top your chronotype, across the side your partner's chronotype. And we have separate matrices for um, homosexual and lesbian relationships because the hormones are different. So the timing is different. Wow, that's incredible. And that's in the All book science. Energize. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, that's in The Power of When. And we talk about it as well, again in Energize. If, if you can't have a more better map, a better map, to <laughs> map out the health of your relationship. Yeah. That's one thing that we all need to check out for sure. Absolutely. When we should be having sex and eating and sleeping and all that stuff too, but when to have sex. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when we talk about sex and energize, like let's think about it. Sex yeah. can give you energy. 100%. When you think about it, yeah. right? Number one, closest with your partner, but number two, just the expenditure, the expenditure of the energy itself. Yeah. Now, to be fair, most guys get tired and most women have a tendency to to get energized. What's yeah. that all about? We're not 100% sure. We think it has to do with testosterone and oxytocin, mm -hmm. and then oxytocin uh, and progesterone and estrogen. We yeah. think that those are very different because they're different in uh, different gendered humans. And we think that could have something to do with it, but I don't think anybody's figured that one out yet. Will a male have more energy if he doesn't have sex in the morning as opposed to having sex because of the, the dip in energy after orgasm? So it's an interesting question. So in sports, we used to tell the athletes, don't have sex, you know, right. build up that sexual energy and, and, you know, push it out onto the field. Right. I don't think it really works. Really? To be honest with you. Really? Like, here's the thing is if you get become completely exhausted after ejaculating and you've had sex in the morning and you're a male, then, uh, you know, maybe that's the time to then go and do a temperature challenge, cold plunge, right? Mm. Or that's when you do your cold shower right? Mm. Or just don't give yourself the opportunity to relax so much that you become sleepy because you just had a full night's worth of sleep. So remember that effect is probably very temporary yeah. um, to be clear. Yeah, that makes sense. If you like what you're hearing and you want to make sure you don't miss any of these tips, please subscribe, leave us a review and share with your friends. See you on the next episode.